Hello everyone and welcome back to Carrie's Beauty Corner. I'm going to try something a little different today. I'm going to see if my old hairdresser still, skills um, are still with me and I want to show you how I use this Lange Le Duo and if it's worth all the hype and um, worth the price tag and I do have a couple of the launch products to tell you about. So if you're interested in seeing how this baby works, stick around, that's coming right up. All right, I already have this on. I have it on, oh, where did I put my glasses? Lord have mercy. I have it on 390 degrees and I don't know if you can hear but it has a little fan and the air comes through this oh you could see the steam when I opened that up so it's definitely definitely warm and I will tell you I shampooed my hair last night um, I used um, the R and Company um, this is almost like a one-and-done product but it's called centerpiece it's an all-in-one elixir spray but it it takes the place of a detangler um, I think it has some um, um, heat protectant in it but I'm going to use some heat protectant too but I also use this Lange thicket cream and it really really I like the the texture that it gives my hair um, I have tried the uh, Lange Dry Shampoo, and it's not bad, not bad at all, but I have fallen in love with the Amica, and I like the Amica better. I'm not going to say they don't compare, but I do like the Amica better, and I am going to put a little bit um, of the Amica in right now to just kind of just I need my um, I need my color so um, my new growth is really really soft so I want to use something right next to my scalp so that my hair doesn't sit flat on my scalp and then I'm going to take the living proof um, restore instant protection this is a weightless heat and UV protectant for your hair and it, what I find that it also does is it gives your hair a little bit of slip so that the, the iron just really kind of glides through the hair. And when it doesn't have anything to catch on, it really gives you the look that you're looking for. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to section about half of my hair. and just put it up in a clip. And y'all see how much new growth I have. I need my hair color really bad. Um, and you won't really be able to see too much about what I do in the back. But I will tell you, I'm gonna take about one inch sections like this. And I do like to comb through it because I want, like I said, I want the iron to have some slip. And I'm gonna pop this in right next to my scalp, and then I'm just gonna give it a twist and out. And if you'll see, that gave me just the perfect curl. And it will stay. <laughs> These curls will stay. It's the most amazing thing I have ever seen because my hair does not usually want to curl and then when it does curl it doesn't want to stay but there you go there's two perfectly done curls now I'm gonna continue with the back and then when I get towards the front I'll come back with you
show you how to do these front pieces now really my hair is thin enough that I can do this in one section so I'm gonna come in right here by my scalp I'm gonna give it a twist like this and I'm leaving my ends out and then it just flips back around now if I want to curl that just a little bit more I can take it and I can pull a little bit more of those ends in there. I'm not liking that. I think I can kind of tighten that curl up just a little bit. Like that. Yeah, that'll work. Now, same thing on this side. Now, that side did way better. That side did way better. But anyway, it's kind of a messy look anyway when you finish with it. So I don't I don't really mind if they don't look exactly the same. So I'm gonna and y'all the back is hit or miss. So I'm not really gonna I'm not gonna really sweat it. I'm just gonna kinda feel my way back here because it doesn't have to be perfect, and it doesn't all have to be going in the same direction you really want for that messy look. You really don't want it all going in the same direction. But I don't know if you can tell what I'm talking about, that my hair has a slip to it from that heat protectant. So I'm able to twist that iron around just like that and there's there's a little bit of a learning curve See, it's my hair's wanting to stick in there right now. So that did not. I mean, it still gave me the curl I wanted, but it didn't do the slip that I like for it to do. And it may have been because I didn't comb through it first. But I don't ordinarily spend 80 bucks on hair things, hair tools, but I have found this one to be well worth it. What I have been able to do with my hair, which I mean, I like my hair straight and, and that's easy. That's easy as well. But when you want to kind of zhuzh it up a bit and do something a little, I don't know, a little more fancy, this thing is wonderful for that. And I don't usually curl my bangs, but this makes it real simple. I just do a little, a little twist. And you can kind of see as I'm going on, I'm probably not being as neat 
as I was in the beginning. I get lazy and I don't want to put it down and comb through my sections, but you really will have a better result if you do that. But I've never had a curling, um, I mean a flat iron with a clamp before. And it is a game changer, y'all. A game changer. And even though I'm using this to curl today, you can you can use it if you see that the plates are just flat iron plates. So very, very simple to also straighten your hair. All right, I'm gonna work on the back a little bit. And I have seen some people take a piece here and a piece there and flip it the other way um like instead of curling this back curl it towards myself which i'm not as quite no i'm not very skilled at doing that that's going to take a little bit of practice um but i think it's going like this no, that's exact. Well, maybe. Well, I don't know. Anyway, I don't think you can hurt it. I don't think it really matters. Um, the only thing I think you, you can do to mess this up is maybe skip a piece, leave a piece out. And so I'm going to go check that out momentarily and make sure that I didn't do that. But, I mean, y'all, how fun. This is, this is fun. This is not a chore at all. And then what I like to do is take some of the Amica Undone, the texturizing spray. And, and I'm going to unplug my iron just because I'll, I just feel better when I do that. Um... But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just kind of spray this all over because it will help me. Um, because really, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fluff, and I have a little pick here that I like to use. I've had it forever. Um, I think it's it actually is made by Revlon, but I've had it forever. Um, but I'm just gonna come in here and just kind of tease my roots a little bit and just get it, get it going on top. And then I'm just gonna kind of put my hands in it and just let it kind of go where it wants to go. Which that's the whole, you know, that's the whole idea of this is just to give it kind of a texturized, um, PC, PC, is that a, is that a word, PC? But I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to turn my light off here and see better. And I'm going to go finish this off in the bathroom where I can see the back of it because I don't want to, I'm going to use my Kenra volume spray, but I don't want to do that until I can see the back of it. But anyway, how easy was that? And how fun? And what a fun look. I mean, I love this. Um, it's just different. And 
it's a way of having a different style without having to cut your hair different. I mean, I haven't done anything any different to my hair, but just using this iron gives it a completely different look. So, anyway, if someone asked me, is Lange, Lange, um, is it worth the hype? Um, I would have to say on the tools, most definitely. Now, on the products, are there other products that might work equally as good? Maybe, because like I said, I really like this Amica line. Um, I love this thicket spray, I mean this thicket cream, I love this. Was not overly impressed with the dry shampoo, but these are the only two products that I have tried. So I can't really, I don't feel like two is enough for me to really say that their product line is good or bad. I think it is probably good. But I absolutely, if you have an opportunity to pick up the Laduo, um, this will work for short hair, long hair, medium hair. Um, I think it's a wonderful tool. So that's my recommendation. I say two thumbs up. Um, if you have the opportunity to try it, give it a try. And thank you again for joining me, um, helping me grow my channel. I appreciate all your support. Um, have a blessed and beautiful day. I love you guys.